Hello everyone, let's look into a good set of optimizations of multiple sets. Let's read the set. As a part of a survey for ranking business school, a magazine surveyed business school in four regions. So these regions are North, South, East and West. The following table gives the number of B schools in each region that satisfies the minimum basic requirement as specified by the magazine. Okay, so there are some criteria or the requirements. Uh, that is the requirement of placement, faculty, infrastructure, course content and student quality. And accordingly, in each of these regions, number of business schools that satisfies the criteria, we have the numbers of that number of B schools. Okay. The table shows the total number of business schools surveyed in each region. Okay. So also we know that number of business school that is surveyed in each region for north we have 40 regions uh, for north region we have 40 business school and so on. Now let's attack the question uh, the table is very clear that these are the criterias and number of business school satisfying the criterias are also given total number of business school in each region is also given okay. So let's see the first question. First question says that at most how many business schools surveyed satisfied the minimum requirement in each of the five parameters. So these are the parameters and at most, at most means maximum, at most means maximum, maximum how many business schools satisfied all the five parameters. So let's look in the north region, the minimum number in the north region which is 11 this would be the maximum value that would be satisfying all the five parameters right because any number less than that let's suppose if we take 12 then we have just 11 uh, business schools who are qualifying for the faculty so the maximum value the maximum value which satisfies all the five parameters would be the minimum value in each of the region hope this is clear so for north region it is 11 Similarly, for South region, the minimum number that we have is uh, 14. So 11 plus 14 is making it to 25. Similarly, for East region, the minimum number is 8. So that makes it to 33. For West region, the minimum number is 13. So that makes it to 46. So answer to this question is 46. This was pretty simple. Now let's look into the second question. Second question says that at least how many business schools surveyed met the minimum basic requirements in both the parameters that is placement and faculty. So in this question we are just focusing on the, on the two parameters that is let me erase this that is placement and faculty and we need to find at least when the term at least is used we need to find minimum. So we need to find minimum value of the number of schools which satisfy only these two parameters that is placement and faculty so again we'll uh, find try to find for each region wise so let's suppose for north region we just need to focus on these two parameters so the whole set or Venn diagram got broken down to two set Venn diagram that is if we are supposing for north region that is 40 number of colleges are there we're just focusing on two parameters that is placement and faculty okay so placement and faculty placement and faculty for placement we have 15 okay for faculty we have 11 we need to find the minimum value of this common region now what can be the minimum value of this common region now as the total number of colleges are 40 and if we sum this placement and faculty that is 15 plus 11 that makes it to 26 then we do not need any overlap we do not need any overlap okay overlapping is not required in fact we'll have some colleges which does not satisfy both the placement and faculty will have some n value that is 14 if we do not give any overlap okay because we need to find the minimum value and we have the place of not giving any overlap so for north region for north region this would be zero now similarly for south region the total number of colleges are 50 now if we sum this up 21 plus 14 that makes it to 35 we did not need to give any overlap because we need to find the minimum value so again it would be zero for south region similarly if you look for east region total number of colleges is 25 now if we sum this up 13 plus 14 
13 plus 14 is how much? 27. Now we need to have some overlap. We will have overlap because if we sum this, it makes it 227 and the total number of colleges is 25. So there must be an overlap of 2. So for East region, it is 2. Okay. Similarly, for West region, total number of colleges is 30. Now, if we sum this up, 18 plus 31, uh, 13, so that's make it to 31. So there must be overlap of one college which satisfy both the criteria. So for West, it is one. So the total number of minimum college which satisfy both these criteria is three. Now let's look into the third and fourth question. Before moving to the third question, it is a linear question. So I'll move to the fourth question and let me erase this so that I get the space for solving. Now question fourth says of the business schools surveyed in northern region. So we're just focusing on the north region. Those satisfying the minimum basic requirement. So these are the minimum basic requirements, satisfaction number of college which satisfy the minimum basic requirements. Those satisfying the minimum basic requirements in minimum of two of the five parameters. So this term is very important in minimum of the two of the five parameters are at least okay. Minimum of the two of the five parameters means exactly two plus exactly three plus exactly four plus exactly five. And we need to find the at least value of this. Yani we need to find the minimum value of this complete term. Now, very commonly we use two formulas that uh, for optimization of multiple set Venn diagram. First is what X that the total number of <coughs> uh, the colleges or the sample. So the total number of colleges for northern region is 40. So X equals to 40. So let me write it like this X equals to 40 and that equals to exactly one plus exactly two plus exactly three plus exactly a four plus exactly five and now in this question we have seen that there is nowhere mentioned that there are no colleges which does not satisfy the minimum call minimum uh, basic requirements so there can be colleges which do not satisfy the minimum basic requirements so we put it in n region so this equals to x and s which equals to the total number of samples calculated individually is the summation of these numbers okay and this equals to uh, how much 15 plus 11 would make it to <coughs> 26 26 plus 17 uh, would make it to 36 46 43 43 plus 19 would make it to 53 63 62 62 plus 22 is 84 and s equals to exactly 1 plus exactly 2 uh, sorry, two times of exactly two plus three times of exactly three plus four times of exactly four plus five times of exactly five. Now, what if we subtract this? If we subtract this, we'll get 44 equals to two uh, exactly two, not two times, exactly two plus two times of exactly three plus three times of exactly four plus four times of exactly five minus n now we need to find the minimum value of this complete term in order to give the minimum value to this complete term we'll try to give the maximum possible value to exactly five why because it carries a larger coefficient attached to it whatever value will give to these things will it will multiply it by two it would be multiplied by three but if whatever the value if we give to exactly five it would be multiplied by four and this complete number can be exhausted faster okay hope this concept is clear now what is the maximum value we can give to exactly five the maximum value that we can give to exactly five is 11 because it cannot exceed more than that now what if we give exactly five value as 11 then all these things would be zero Okay, we are trying to give the least possible value and in fact it is zero. So when we give exactly five, sorry, exactly five equals to 11. So this, this complete term becomes zero. So five becomes exactly five is 11. This equation is satisfied. Now if you look into this equation, all these things are zero. This is zero. This is zero. This is zero. This is 11. This is zero. So then exactly one is how much? 20 sorry exactly one exactly one is 29 
and this is the minimum possible value that can be given so 11 is the answer for this now let's look into question 3 again I have to erase it now let's look into question number 3 all the business school will satisfy the minimum requirements in at least 3 of the 5 parameters in at least 3 of the 5 parameters are to be considered for all India ranking at most how many business schools surveyed would be considered for ranking so first which region the question is talking about at least three of the five parameters so you need exactly three plus exactly four plus exactly five regions and we need to find at most it means that we need to find the maximum value of this complete term now in order to find the maximum value of this complete term we know the basic two equations that we usually follow or apply in solving the optimization question of multiple sets in order to give the maximum value of this complete term we'll try to give the maximum value to exactly three region why because exactly three region has lower co coefficient attached to it comparatively to exactly four and exactly five if we as it has lower coefficient attached to it we can give more and more values to exactly three region comparatively to exactly four and exactly five so let's see for the north region for north region x is 40 so this is 40 and s that we have seen in previous question was 84 now we try to give the maximum possible value to exactly 3 now maximum possible value to exactly 3 can be given when you make every other thing as 0 and then the maximum possible value of exactly 3 would be 84 divided by 3 that is nothing but 28 okay 83 divided by 3 that's 28 and in that case this would be 0 this would be 0 this would be 28 this would be 0 this would be 0 and this n would carry a number 12 with it okay so anyway we just need to find the maximum value of this complete term in order to do that we'll give maximum value to exactly 3 if possible then some value to exactly 4 and then possible values to exactly 5 but we have seen that by giving all the values to exactly 3 we are completely satisfying both these two equation so for north region it is 28 okay uh, let's similarly do it for south region for south region what we need to do is that x over here so let me erase this x x is nothing but 50 and let's calculate what would be s 21 plus 14 is how much 35 35 plus 16 would make it to 51 51 plus 23 is 74 74 plus 28 would make it to 102 okay now if this is 102 again we'll try to give maximum possible value to exactly three region okay in that case it would be uh this was for north region so now for the south region maximum possible value would be 102 divided by 3 that makes it to 34 now if we give that it is all satisfying n would be 16 that's cool enough okay so that's perfectly fine now let's try to do that for the east region so n over here would be how much n over here would be uh, 16 so this is a comparatively this value of n is acceptable in that first region n was how much it was 28 and 12 so that is also acceptable anyway let's come back for uh, east region east region what all we can do is that uh, total x value of x is 25 and if you sum this up 13 plus 14 is making it 27 27 plus 8 is 35 35 plus 15 is 50 and this plus 10 is 60 okay now if we give 10 now this is 60 so maximum value of exactly 3 over here would be 20 so for east region this for east region in in this case n because all the other term would be 0 and n would be how much n would equals to 5 and is n equals to 5 acceptable yes it is acceptable now uh, let's see for the west region for the west region again we'll try to give the maximum possible value so what is the summation summation is 30 and uh, let's sum this up 18 plus 13 is 31 31 plus 17 is 
48, 48 plus 14 is 62, 62 plus 18 would make it to 18. Okay, now we need to give the maximum possible value to exactly 3. So in this case, the maximum value of exactly 3 region would be 80 divided by 3. So the nearest uh, integral value that I can get is 26. And in this case, we, if we put exactly 2 equals to 1 and then we'll get n equals to 1 and that is an acceptable value. Okay. So let's sum this up. If we sum this up, 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 plus 6 is 18, carry 1, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, and this is 108. So answer to this question is C, 108. Now, just summing this up, why did we maximize exactly 3? In fact, we had to maximize this complete term. In order to maximize this complete term, we tried to give maximum value to exactly 3 because exactly 3 had a lower coefficient. If we give some value to exactly 4, will be multiplied by a greater coefficient comparatively to the whatever the value will give to exactly 3. So we try to give the maximum possible value to exactly 3 so that we can get the maximum value. And the maximum value for this question is 108. Hope this set is clear. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel and you get the latest. Yeah. <clears throat>